Hi guys, so I have an unboxing video. Um I think I've done it I've done this twice. Uh there's probably no proof of that I did it twice, unfortunately. Darn you YouTube. Anyway, so this is a I guess a semi uh unboxing, but I wasn't expecting to get this in the mail like today. Like I looked up the tracking and it said it was like processing at the post office and then BAM showed up at the door. So I was happy, I was giddy. Uh, my friends were a witness of my excitement because I was just jumping up and down and hugging this box. And yeah. I don't know when I'll be doing another unboxing because, you know, I don't get to buy uh, stuff like this very often now, thanks to college. Yay. So, let's let's see what's in the box because, I mean, I know what it is, but you don't know what it is. But anyway, so here we go. Da 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 da. Bubble wrap and bam, doing great. Okay, so this is a lot of uh, pressure. Then I bought this, so kept seeing it on Tumblr. I couldn't take it anymore. Kept seeing the the copies for the limited edition just decrease day by day and I just couldn't resist during great owns my soul because I, I can never resist them it's it's pathetic um if, I ever li if you haven't ever listened to them don't because you'll never be able to like get back like your life your emotions or your money so <laughs> it's a it's a it's an investment, a serious, severe investment. That's that's fandom right there. Anyway, so let's dig into the the out of the DVD. Can't even talk. I'm so excited. Okay, so thank you, peer pressure, for this like album. So this is a box. Um. Still kind of not so sure about this, like, um, box art. Like, I saw a picture of it, and I'm just like, really? That's that's the art? It looks, it looks like one of those, like, uh, standardized test pictures. Or, uh, those illusion books that were, like, printed in, like, the mid-90s. I don't know. Anyway, the, the back looks like that, too. I don't know. It was just a thought. So, this is interesting. It's like a off, kind of like an old vintage red in the boxes. It's interesting. It's, it's different. So, anyway, this took me a little time to read the box because I'm stupid, apparently. It says documentary live if you, you didn't know that. Uh, on the back, it has the credits. Which is a lot of stuff, and of course the member names are up here, but I mean, most people know the member names, uh, especially if they spent a ridiculous amount of money, plus part of their soul, and uh, their baby's DNA, firstborn. I think they would know the member's name, so anyway, so since this is the limited edition, of course there's going to be a uh, bunch of discs. So we got three discs. I think the uh, regular versions too. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's what it is. Uh, so it has a circle not release, which is interesting. Um, this fell out of the box. Uh, if I can detach it from the plastic. Hold on. Oh god, I ripped it. No! It was so good! Ah! Okay. Yeah, promo. So if you didn't know, they're gonna release a new single in January. 
So, okay. So the other thing that's on the box is this, which are the tour dates and the locations. Uh, so this is their stuff there. I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong. And Situ Tubula Rasa live from like 2012 to 2013. So yeah, that's what what's in here. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. It's all region, which is always great. I love that. Um, so there's two main discs. Uh, this one, and then the one in the middle, and then this one here is like a bonus disc. Um, let's see if I can tell you what what is on what. If you didn't know, cause it's on here. Um. The first disc has the stuff from 2012 um, from the Tokyo International Forum Hall A. Uh, oh God, I am told. Uh, okay, I, I got it. Never mind. Um, oh, I think I'm reading this right. I think. The second, or maybe okay. I'm I'm not sure. I'm okay. Forget everything I just said. So there's okay. It has the stuff from the Tokyo International Forum Hall A, and then we have the depiction of reality, and so there's like three sets of lives. Uh, some stuff from when they were doing the unraveling mini album. And some more Tory stuff and stuff from download. So I cannot tell what is what. So, like, what's in what? Because <laughs> it's really, it has all the stuff on the back. But I mean, it says what's in the DVD, so I guess you just gotta, like, figure it out. <laughs> Either that, or I just I just can't read and I fail. But then I'm assuming I don't know. There's just extra bonusy stuff on the third album, third disc. Sorry. Um. Yeah, I wish I could decipher this a lot more. But yeah, that's that's the case. Um, here's the spine if you're curious, and bottom with all the extra stuff. Uh, from what I remember, because my friend was wondering how long it is, uh, all three discs to together is 245 minutes long, so uh, have fun doing the math on figuring out the uh, hours and minutes, because I don't feel like doing it right now. Yeah, so the first disc is 105 minutes, uh, about second is 110, and the bonus is 30 minutes. Uh, I already mentioned the re it's all region, so you don't have to worry about uh, special DVDs or changing your coding on your laptop or whatever. So that's that's one thing I really like about during Gray's DVDs is that it's you can play it no matter where you are. Um, I wish more uh, J Rock artists did that. So. Uh, from the last time I checked, I, I've ordered this off of CD Japan, uh, probably one of my, f it's my first pick of where I, uh, buy my J-Rock stuff. Uh, it sucks that everything is so expensive, especially shipping. Um, it seemed like, uh, it went up and the exchange rate went up, like, after the earthquake after the tsunami, so, which sucks, but, I mean, eh, it, it happened. Uh, lovely inflation. So, I think this was about $93.94 uh, US. Uh, that's with shipping and tax, so it uh, hurt, hurt my soul so much. Uh, it hurt my wallet, it is weeping right now, so. That's how much it is. Uh, on the box it says 8,800 yen, so 
can figure the calculation of that out. So, um, so of course, since I I said uh, Sea Japan is my usually is my first pick when I order J Rock. Um, obviously the shipping's good. They they handle things pretty well. Um, I like their point system too. I'm well. I wish they could improve on it. I wish you could keep all the points and it doesn't it didn't expire. Because uh, I don't really order much stuff on Sea Japan as much as I would like to, but uh, it sucks that your points don't stay. Um, but other than that, I uh, it's pretty easy to use if you've never used Sea Japan before. Uh, they really cater to uh, people overseas, I believe. Um, the packaging is always good, so I mean, I always kind of struggle opening the actual box, but I mean at least I know it's not gonna get like open easily. Um, I think when I ordered this there was like 10 copies left, so there might be a little less than 10 copies of the limited edition, but the regular edition is still there. I didn't see like a CD count on it. Uh, I believe it also comes in Blu-ray, so if you want a Blu-ray version, I think that that's available on T-Japan. Um, I guess the backup plan, because I don't think I've really ordered much J-Rock stuff from them, but I, I mean, they've ordered, uh, I've ordered things from them, but not, I don't think I've ordered many J-Rock materials from the site, which is, uh, yesasia.com. Uh, usually they're... Uh, Japanese stuff is more expensive than CD Japan, um, but uh, they're a good CD. They're a good uh, site too. Um, also, uh, Brand X is good too. Uh, they probably have Dern Gray's DVD. I haven't checked yet. Um, like I said, I only looked at CD Japan because uh, that's usually my first stop. Um, so I can't wait to watch it. I haven't really watched it yet. Uh, honestly, before this, I already opened it because I just got too, I got too hyped. Uh, I watched kind of partially, like, the first disc. I wasn't really paying attention because I had company earlier. So I, uh, what I saw seemed pretty good. Uh, the snippets I've seen on my Tumblr feed... Well, obviously, that's what pressured me to go buy it, so it looked pretty awesome, so I'm not expecting anything less from this. So, yeah, if you get a chance to buy their latest DVD, uh, do it, because most of their DVDs are usually worth it, so I'm just going to assume all their DVDs are, are great. Um, I don't own all of them. Uh, I know I own a good majority of them, so yeah. Uh, so that's it for the unboxing, uh, I guess it'd be nice to do more, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, money, gotta get that money. Anyway, so thanks for watching, and go support Dern Grey, because they're a great band, and not only support them, but support artists, because supporting artists is great and shows that they have a following and it encourages them to make more music and tour and all that good stuff. So thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>